All right, so today we've brought my parents to Kuala Terengganu, starting off with the Turtle Alley, which leads us right into Chinatown here. And we are guided by the lovely Mr. Alex, very knowledgeable and very fun. And the weather today is actually beautiful. And we've got a full itinerary from breakfast now all the way up until dinner time. So come along with us as I take my parents around my favorite city in all of Malaysia. Although I think, Ivana, what's your favorite city in Malaysia? I like KL and KT. KL and KT. Okay, so one and a half of our favorite city out of two people. Come along with us. Let's go. All right, so a lovely walking tour through Kuala Terengganu's Chinatown, where we learned that the first Chinese people here in Terengganu arrived in the year 1414, which is pretty impressive and probably one of the reasons why there's always something new to see in Chinatown here in KT. There's buildings being constructed that Ivana and I have not seen before. There's other buildings that, let's say, need a restoration project and they're sort of falling apart, but certainly beautiful in their own right. And I think my parents, Kind of enjoyed just walking through chinatown because there's so much going on everywhere you look is something beautiful and something to admire and take note of and something that they probably have not seen before so it was a great tour and next up just at the bottom of chinatown here is in fact the central market which i think my mom will enjoy because lots of things for sale and lots of things to look at and maybe even sample so let's go This is the beauty of traveling with Alex. He knows everybody. So he knows the owner of that bike. He says, hey, you guys want a quick photo op? We said, absolutely right. And by the way, that rickshaw, uh, surprisingly high tech. On the inside there was like radios and wires and everything you could need. So uh, great little photo op just before we jump into the market here. So mom, I've known you for a long time. In fact, I've known you my whole life, right? You have known me. I feel like you're having a very good time in this market. Can you explain why? It's just so different. There's so many foods I don't know what they are. There's so many things in jars I have no idea what they are. Uh, it's just so different. I wonder how the heat does, like the, it's so hot in here, but you wonder if things stay fresh or good. I guess they do. They must know what they're doing, but yep. you would think the heat would, I think that's one of the reasons things. the fish is dried. Yes. This is dried fish. I think it lasts a lot longer. Yes. And I think the veggies and fruits are fresh every day because because it's like you said, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, there's one for you, mom. Does that make you hungry? Look at, you should have got dad's face. Do it again, dad. Your how's face. That, how's that look for you? <laughs> <laughs> I understand. The mom is different than this one. And that one, the green one. Tiny, tiny. Lemak manis. Lemak manis. They are little oh. bananas. So, generally, mom, the smaller fruits are kind of better. You know that from blueberries and strawberries and stuff. This could be the most flavorful banana you've had. Or not. So cute. It's good. Mm. Better than the banana at home. Tastes different. No, I can honestly say I don't think it's better. Ah. Uh -huh. But it's a different flavor. It's different but for sure. That at home has a good flavor too. Like okay. a, uh, yeah. But it's not. It's good. Can you taste the difference though? Yeah. It's Tastes the same to you. Yeah. Yeah. Your sense of taste taste is not so strong. Same, same texture, same everything. Same everything. I would say it's the same texture. For sure. But I think it's got a di different taste. Cool. Yeah. Is it stronger or different? Just a little different. Think it's stronger? No. Banana at home, you can taste a banana at home. I think this, this is. Oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's not stronger. It's good. It's good though. It's good though. What's that? She asked. This is jeruk bua bua. Pickled. Pickled Oh, pickled mango. Mango. This is a uh, sato, the fruit, like a Chinese ball size. And pickled again. 
This clubby. This salad. And this is almost similar species, but they call kelubi. Interesting fact. In Malaysia, pickle is called jeruk. And jeruk means I was thinking that orange. In Indonesia. in Indonesia, it means it means orange. Yes. And I was thinking what because I saw because I saw both of them said jeruk, and I'm like, yeah. is it not the same thing? No, in Indonesia, it's not jeruk. Yeah, in Malay, orange is orange. In Indonesia, jeruk, juice jeruk, not juice orange. Right. Yeah, yeah. They even have pickled egg. Pickled egg, actually quite yummy. And this one looks very homemade. And stinky beans. Oh gosh. Oh, that's a good. She's a, a already point. Yeah, that makes duck egg mash. Duck egg. So we got a bit cut off there by the guy making ice cubes, which is the nature of the uh, local market. But it's such a joy for me to see my parents' reactions of everything. They're pointing at us like, what's that? That's a man. Why does it look so different? It's a duck egg. <laughs> oh, duck egg. They're so interested in everything. Uh, it's such a joy to follow my parents around. They're very curious about everything. Of course, lots of turtles in Terengganu. It's got to be the state animal. Yes, if you see on the road in Terengganu, lots of bikers have turtles on their back. Uh, just to let people know they've been here. Oh, I get it. To Terengganu. Fair. I heard Terengganu. Thank you. Me too, turtle. Me too. We have a candy at home that looks like that. Really? Years ago, yeah. Years ago. When you were kids. The white stuff was like a soft It almost looks like a little sandwich. It looks like Turkish delight. Can't we try, Mom? No, this is chicken. This is chicken floss. This is good stuff, Mom. But didn't you have it? Didn't we have this on the chicken? You're thinking on top of, of the chicken? You're thinking of Ayam Brempa, which is a different thing, but it does look similar. It was good. I would say I would give it four stars. Four stars. Four stars. <laughs> this is actually chicken. Chicken floss. And they have beef floss too. This is really good. Buy some dodo. Good idea, Ivana. Oh, it's from rice. Yeah, it's from rice. Yeah. They call putu bras, rice with the sugar. Yeah. So they grind, then come up with this. Reminds you of home. Maybe I should buy it and then we can taste it. Sure. Sounds good, Mom. It's dry. It's dry. Sweet. No, I don't think it's sweet. Your mouth is dry. <laughs> it doesn't have a strong taste. <laughs> That's supposed to be jam in the middle, I believe. Uh, I'm suspecting a potentially low star rating here, Mom. What do you say? Yeah, it's not. Uh, to me, it doesn't taste like I can't taste anything. Ah. So I would say we'll give it three stars. It looks pretty. <laughs> it looks pretty. It doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't really have much taste. It, and I don't think it's sweet. For a four ring, it can't go wrong. I think three stars was the right rating. You need a lot of patience. Yeah. You cut one by one. One pieces, one pieces. See, you finish all. All right. And with all that being done, it is time for lunch. But first things first, my parents just bought a pretty nice souvenir. It is a traditional kite. I believe it's called a WOW, W-A-U. And it is, to be clear, it's a small version, so it won't fly. But it is made by a guy who is like the number one kite maker, and he's a real pro. He's got a little booth there, so my parents bought something they can hang inside their tiki hut in the backyard. Maybe in five weeks when the trip is over, I will update you guys with uh, a photo of their backyard. They've got a bar by the pool. It's kind of nice, and they've got a couple Malaysian things that will be hanging there by the time this trip is over. They've got the scarf from the football match already, as well as the uh, kite. So with all that being said, let's eat. Be honest, mom. Turn on the back, so. Fish sauce, not too fishy, not too spicy. Tourist friendly. Tourist friendly. <laughs> <laughs> good. It's good. 
Okay. And for our second round is a salad that looks like it has the same sauce, but it's in fact peanut sauce. What do you say, mom? You prefer the fish sauce or the peanut sauce? Wow, well, I think they're both delicious. I ate it out of my plate, so you know. Oh, good one. Good. Good one. Oh my gosh, be honest. This is the best coffee you had in Malaysia. Oh. Be honest. This is the best coffee I've had in Malaysia. This is even better than the coffee shop. The coffee shop we went to, we only got coffee. Mm -hmm. Because they froth the milk. It's like, it's just so tasty. How many stars do you give this coffee, Mom? Oh. It's gotta be sound stars. It's just gotta be. It's so good. I ask you, and Dad goes, oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Next up, Karanganu Cultural Village, which is a nice place. I think you'll like. Let's go. So I tell you what, I really hope my parents enjoy Taranganu Cultural Village and the accompanying state museum. Ivana and I have so many good memories here with such nice, beautiful views of the building as well as experiences with our friends that we'll never forget. I'm inclined to put some footage from our previous videos in this video here because we have so many good memories from Taranganu Cultural Village. And I guess we're starting off with something new, which is a little uh, rickshaw tour. My parents are up front just taking off now as we cruise around the uh, cultural village. This is a good start to one of my favorite places in Tarangana. Safe music. Oh, thanks, Ivana. <laughs> yeah, this is what we've been up for. Okay, first stop is a traditional cooking method where they will cook fish in sand. Now pause, I know that sounds bad, but based on my experience in Malaysia, I'm sure it tastes good. So let's check this out. This is a, uh, a pot full of sand that they will cook fish in. And then the fish, when you eat it, will not be sandy. It will be yummy. Fish crackers. Fish crackers. Fish crackers. Okay, okay. <laughs> we got a new chef today. She's never cooked a fish cracker in her life. Never mind a fish cracker in sand. Yeah, Cover it up, Mom. Like a cat burying its poop. I want to compare. Okay, you can. One more. What's your confidence level, Mom, on the flavor? You think it's going to be yummy or you think it's going to be sandy? Or what do you think? Dun, 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 dun. Crispy. No pressure, a little it's bit crispy. of pressure. There's no sand. Oh, it's clean. It's yes. And yes, it tastes like fish cracker. Which isn't my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but there is no sand. <laughs> okay. So the cooking technique was effective. The cooking technique was effective. Sure. And big thanks to our helper today. What's your name, sorry? Ian. Ian. Good job. Thanks for helping us today. It tastes fishy. The fish lover. Star rating. I think it's better than when you cook it in oil. It's okay. A healthier. No, as oil. Lighter than oil. Good job, yeah. Ivana. Good job. Very cool. We sell this when they want to go to the sea or before when the, the landers see the fishermen going to land and they will whistle it like this. Okay, let's hear it. Smell him. Oh, yeah. Good, good. Yo, Taranganu Cultural Village has got to be one of the top places right now. I think since Ivana and I were here last, they've done tons of new exhibits. We saw tons of fishing boats as well as a whole museum behind me about the fisherman lifestyle uh, 
in the past like 150 years ago or so and you guys know when i heard that horn i was thinking of borom here from lord of the rings uh beautiful horn made from a buffalo horn which fishermen would blow to signify that they're there so people would come out and buy their stuff or help them unload their boat or whatever it's like a arrival announcement back 150 or 200 years ago uh big shout out to Terengana cultural village this place is awesome Oh, this is so great. My parents are going to put on the traditional Terengganu outfit and do a bit of a wedding photo shoot here. This is great. Oh, looking sharp, daddy -o. So I guess in some ways, the Terengganu wedding is same like a Canadian wedding. The groom, no problem. The bride, it's a big ordeal. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Wow. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Wow, good photographer. Good job. I tell you what, for my opinion, this is just my opinion, but I think it's true that Terengganu has done the best job of sort of preserving as well as sort of presenting their history and their culture to tourists. I mean, it's so accessible. We've got photographers here arranging my parents. They've got the outfits on and they're up against the window here. Uh, it's really good for tourists. I mean, this is a memory my parents will never forget. And from the minute we walked in the front door of Terengganu Cultural Village, from the bicycle ride to the fisherman, museum to this such a nice experience for tourists i think it's the best in malaysia way to go Terengganu. so they call it labu kayu uh, normally they use this one you dry you slice you boil water you drink it's oh. they, the locker said they believe to cure cancer wow, wow. And another uh, another name of this one is I swear everything in this place is a lesson to be learned. We just come outside of the photo shoot, the building here, and we're learning about uh, Tonkat Ali and Majapahit. Right. What I've learned from Malaysia is if it's not delicious, it's medicine. Everything is edible. It's either delicious or it's medicine. <laughs> That's basically what I've learned. <laughs> Okay, okay. Press it up. Okay. And then, let's just take our hand. Yeah. And watch this bullseye. Watch this bullseye. Oh! oh. oh you daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's first time. <laughs> first time, wow. Okay, so when you... <laughs> when you pull it... Sincere answer. Yeah. When you pull it, you have to make sure your hand your left hand is not moving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to shoot a monkey or something. <laughs> Good job, mom. Watch this bullseye. Second attempt, second attempt. Well, I just let go. Okay, let's let go. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's better. I have to try one more time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want to hit the board. Oh, gosh. Oh, pretty right good. There. <laughs> Steve, you know what I'm thinking? This might have to do with uh, fishing with the net because it's kind of like the same kind of pose, no? Oh, you mean my shoulder up? Yeah. Oh, maybe I've been I've been practicing with my net throw. Yes. Oh, maybe I got an advantage. Maybe, you know? <laughs> Come on, Steve-o. Okay, good. Come on, Steve. Hold we want to giggle. We want to giggle. Hold on. Oh, miss. Miss, miss. 
<laughs> yes. Oh, oh mess oh, again. They move the board. They move the board. Don't move your left arm. Oh. oh. One more, one more, one more, one more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to make sure this will stay on top of this. Okay. Okay. Then you better to put it here. You stand. Stand here. Okay. You pull it until it meets your cheek. Yeah. Okay. That's good. good for me, Vanna. Good. And the end of the day, we do snow. It gets falling. Show me, Vanna. Show me. What a shot! <laughs> Almost in the middle. That was amazing, Ivana. Seven points. Seven points. <laughs> I tell you what, Ivana shot that arrow just like she shot my heart. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> And we will play Timang Burung and Topeng. So we will play first. Okay. Ready. So the sun is slowly going down here in Taranganu on yet another spectacular day. And so perfect time for a river cruise here on the floating wooden dock. So let's jump on a boat and admire some scenery. All right, everybody, stay tuned to our channel. Sometime in the next five years, I'm gonna be on one of these boats. Hopefully it's gonna, gonna make one year. That looks like a lot of fun, and I've been dreaming about learning to sail forever. Oh, and they got the training right here. Yeah, there's training, and you can see them jumping back and forth from left to right. Ooh. The boats lean over pretty good. Ooh. They're, uh, they're having a This looks like something I would love to do. <laughs> really love. Nice, good one. Yeah. Alright, so this concludes our five star, let's be clear, six star, let's do it just for my mother, seven star itinerary here today. And in fact, Alex, thank you so much for the itinerary you put for us. Thank you so much for the organization and really the memories we had. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. 
We appreciate it so much. Uh, absolutely fantastic experience in Terengganu. So still my favorite state after three years of exploring Malaysia. Hello. And so, uh, hello. Hello. Hey. Where are you from? Canada. Hey. Yeah. Friendly people all around and so many good memories we made today. We uh, really loved it. I'm sure my parents had an absolute blast. I think after this, we're going to get some food, which I believe is Western food to conclude our tour. So we'll do the Western food tonight and then we'll be uh, having a long day of rest because what an adventure it was. Uh, what do you say, mom? Awesome. Amazing, right? It was amazing. We had a full day. Everyone is so kind. True. It's so kind and to see everything we saw, spectacular. And you got a new hat. And I got a new hat. <laughs> and also a wedding. Oh yeah! And you got and you renewed your shoot. vows. A photo shoot. <laughs> photo shoot. <laughs> there you have it. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Watch this cinematic footage. No no, spin the whole plate. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Alright, bonus footage. My mother trying some lovely spaghetti carbonara. Diane Gregg reviews Western food here in Malaysia. Very, it's very tasty. It's very tasty. <laughs> What's the difference between Canadian? Is there meat in it? Oh yeah. Ah. Is that a chicken or is it a? Chicken. <laughs> I can't tell. I thought it was chicken, but then maybe it is. It tastes good. It tastes good. And mushrooms. What's the cheese factor? Is it pretty cheesy or it's not too cheesy? Just the right amount of cheese. <laughs> and it's gotta be five stars. Five stars. I don't know what this is. It's great. Tell you what, the chicken chop looks very good. The fries look very good. But Ivana's got lamb shoulder and her fries are in like a cheesy sort of cake there. Oh, Ivana, you might have got the right order today. And by the way, check out how busy this restaurant is on a Monday night. I think that tells you how good the food is. My mom was right. Gossip restaurant, five star restaurant. The creme brulee. Oh my gosh, so good. Look at all five of us. Everybody over here eating creme brulee. <laughs> Good. <laughs>